born again, yes, we do sin, but we are no longer a sinner. Because the er, the er on the end of it identifies who you are. Sinner means you keep you are a sinning continually. We are no longer a sinner. We are people who sin, but we are children of God. So I think hopefully he gets to explain that a little more as we're going through. But it's the, he's writing here to the carnal church. The, the church doesn't understand that in other scriptures it talks about we are the righteousness of God. We are His child. We are perfect in every way. But we do sin because we're flesh still. And He's, he's, he's making a point to them. If, if you can't acknowledge that you have sin, He's going to get down in there further and He's going to you know, we talked about God being a liar before. He's going to get down here in verse uh, 10 and say, talk about God being a liar again. And that, that's pretty powerful. So he says, if we say we have no sin, refusing to admit that we are sinners, we delude ourselves and the truth is not in us. And his word does not live in our hearts. Well, before I was a Christian, I never gave thought to being a sinner. I may have given thought to I don't know if this is right. This just doesn't feel right what I'm doing. It, I feel bad for some reason. That's probably as close as I ever got, but I never identified as a sinner. I never thought about sinning. So so before I was a Christian, I couldn't delude myself. I, I couldn't say the truth was in me or not. But these these are these are believers that are her they are continually doing what they did before they got saved. There was no character change. There was no repentance. That, that 180, you turn and go the other way. They lived the same way they lived. And now he's telling them, hey, you are supposed to be repentant. And that's an ongoing thing. We all know it. Like, I, like I've said before, the, when we first got saved, the big stuff that we considered big stuff got took care of and we started changing on that right away. But I know every so often I'm reading and there's the little stuff. Were you gossiping today? Sorry, Lord, repent. I got to change of that. Were, were, you, were you thinking negative on this person? Sorry, Lord, I got to, you know. Did, did, you, did you wave in a, in, in a non nice way to the car that cut you off? You know, or, or did you speak something in a derogatory word that the car cut you off? You know, the way you looked at something. You know, and, and sorry, Lord, Holy Spirit's convicting us. He's changing us. Because there's so much about us in the minute details of how we live that aren't Christ like that He's kind of like, let me get my chisel. We got up there, Ivan, up, got to take this off. But when we first started, we were a blank slate. And he, he, he hit and a big chunk would fall off. That big thing, whatever it was, one of the big ones. You know, oh, that fell off. I ain't going to worry about that no more. And now it's the little stuff that we read and go, you know. It's that question. <clears throat> when you ask that question, are we actively sinning? That actively. Actively. Yeah. Is that ongoing or we're doing without giving any thought to it? Yeah, it's yeah. it's not that we're purposely doing it anymore. We just it, it's just happens. the old nature is still sneaking out. Our flesh is still getting out. The the spirit of God is not totally covered us and taken its root because you'll know there, there's things in your life that you were doing that you don't even think about doing anymore mm -hmm. but there's those little things that the Holy Spirit is constantly convicting us of the little stuff when you're reading scripture and he goes eh, that might have been close to what you did and you're like oh Lord forgive me and you may read it a hundred times at, a, at, a, at certain times, you know, whether it's over the year or over the week, and you keep reading it, you're like, Lord, I know I said I needed to stop that, but I did it again, and I did it again. I don't want to do this. Holy Spirit, help me. Change me. And it's a slow process. You know, it becomes farther and farther between. You know, there was a habit that God says don't do. Maybe you did it every day. And then the habits are maybe every other day. And you struggled with it, but I, I get if I can just get through one day. 
and you get through one day, boom, get through one day, boom. And it was like every other day. Then maybe it become every three or four days, and then maybe come once a week. Then maybe it comes once a forever. And then just out of the clear blue, you know, you, you done forgot about that sin, and it pops up again. And you're like, where'd that come from? That is, that is not in my grain. Huh? From the devil. Yeah. You know, that, 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 you know, the cuss word pops out out of the clear blue, and you're like, I don't, I don't even know if I know what that word means anymore. What that word, you know, it just doesn't feel right. You feel icky when you did it, but it just, you're like, Lord, I don't know where that came from, but we need to keep working on something in here because I don't even know it's there anymore. And you, 